Why people fail medicals. Conversations about mining. Hi, Jess. How are you? Yeah, great, Andrew. How are you going? Yeah, really good. Thanks. So today's question is for you about medicals. Why people fail medicals. So I guess there's a wide variety there's of reasons why people would fail a medical. Um, and I guess the, the obvious ones that you would think of is that you've passed it, for, you've failed for drugs or alcohol. You haven't passed the DNA test. Um, which is a lot more common than you'd think, especially for people that is like are using marijuana or maybe CBD oil, even if it is prescribed. It lasts um, in your system you to... for a four to eight weeks sometimes. It can last in your system for a long time. And we have a lot of like great, you know, candidates come through that are like, no, I, you know, I, I was taking CBD oil or smoking a bit of weed, but I've stopped, you know, for a month and it's still in their system. So really important if you are looking at getting into a role, obviously stop doing that um and also like self-test yourself if you are worried you know um so, do those self-tests you can get some pretty good ones now that's that's the most common reason usually um a lot of the time that's really frustrating for candidates is a lot of the time you may fail a medical and they won't ever tell you why um and it, it can be a variety of reasons um i've had some people that have been taking say an anti-anxiety or a sleeping medication and they've declared the medication on their form which is great but they haven't actually put anywhere in their medical form or declaration about why they're taking it so whether they have a an issue with sleep or whether they have anxiety you know they've ticked no 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 oh but I take this I've actually had that happen to two or three people um you know, they haven't actually declared the medical reason why they're taking that medication, even though they've showed the prescription. And yeah, other times you just won't have any idea. You'll think, you know, I'm pretty sure I passed the physical. I'm not on any medications. I'm just really unsure why. And it can be a few different reasons. It could be your BMI or your weight, which they don't have to tell you. Um, it could be like high blood pressure. It could be, it could be a range of reasons it could be maybe your range of motion and in, in your back or your hips or your shoulders wasn't great and you're going to be doing quite a physical job and they just don't want to risk it um and unfortunately you may never know they may they yeah. 99 of the they won't tell you and they are under no obligation to tell you they own those records and they they paid for that test and you've signed away your kind of rights to have that information yeah, and um, that's that's one of the yeah. things that people just don't get about the medicals is that you, they're not about you, they're about the company. And the other reason that I find people fail medicals is that they go and treat the doctor like their GP and they start talking to them like their GP. And if you have a look at some of the videos that I've done on medicals, that I think that personally, that if you're in there for any more than five minutes, you do your chances great harm. Like if you end up being in there for 20 or 30 minutes, it means the doctor's not making any money. That means that you're probably not going to get a good report, which means you're probably going to fail, end up failing the medical. So I try to tell people, you know, like, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes. And then out as soon as possible. And um, what you'll f find about those doctors too is that they're not very personable. The reason that they're right. doing company medical doctors is probably because they want to make a lot of money in a short period of time and that they don't have the people personality to have general pack practice. So the last thing that they want to be doing is rabbiting onto you for 20 minutes about the fact that you can't sleep at night or whatever other problem that you probably should be taking to your doctor that you're taking to this doctor. So, yeah. Um, just with any of those, um, like if you're on antidepressants or anything like that, or, or blood pressure medication or anything, um, all they want to see is that it's stable. So you just need a, yep. a letter from your doctor saying that it's being treated and it's stable. That's all that they want to see. Um, where you get problems if, you, if you've only just been diagnosed and you haven't been on it for a long period of time, that's where you might have some issues. But apart from that, you know, just be straight up in the, in the medical and um, yeah, like, like, just said, make sure if you've been smoking some weed, you go and get a drug test and make sure that you, you know, you, you're not going to fail that. And um, yeah, and just make sure that you've got, uh, I tell people walking fit. So, you know, and um, a lot of people will say, oh, you know, there's a 120 kilo limit and all that sort of stuff. There, there's not like if there really was a 120 kilo limit, it would be in the job ad. What there is, is there's a fitness for work thing. And I've worked with people that have been six foot eight and 160 kilos and they pass medicals just fine. And um, they have to get 
bigger seats in the trucks, which, you know, you can get seats into the trucks up to 180 kilos now. Um, so, you know, that's not a problem changing a seat out for the bigger person. Um, but, you know, you can't, it has to be muscle. It can't be the other stuff, <laughs> you know, sort of thing. Um, yeah. So that's the big thing about the medicals is that, you know, they, that they don't, you know, yeah, they don't have to tell you why. And normally it's because, you know, you're not fit enough or, you know, you haven't declared something or you failed a drug test or something like that. So, yeah. Well, like you said, you've overshared and you've told them your whole life history um, and probably wasted their time. And and it goes, it's a process. So you go in there and you do that medical, you may see a physio. Some of them are quite basic and you're kind of in and out of there in half an hour. Um, you do a few star jumps and maybe a plank and you chat to the doctor and you're out. Others can be up to two or three hours long where you're seeing a physio and you're seeing an occupational therapist and a doctor and a nurse and you're doing all of this stuff. Um, and, and it's a process that goes through. So once you've done that medical there, generally that will go back to a team to be reviewed um, and they will do an analysis on, you know, how high risk you are as a candidate for what type of role you're going into. So if you, you know, like it doesn't, they say there's a 120 kilo weight limit and generally there is if you're a kind of normal height, but it all comes down to your BMI and, and other factors like your blood pressure and your general fitness. Um, I've had people that have had really severe sleep apnea get driving roles because like Andrew said, it's all under control. They're under the care of a specialist. They have a letter from that specialist. They have a sleep apnea machine. You know, they tick all the boxes. Same, I had a guy that had under. I've got sleep apnea. Yeah, that, oh, yeah I, I mined for years with sleep apnea. Exactly. If it's under control and you're under the care of a physician and you've got the records to show that and the paperwork, then you're fine. Same, I had a guy who had like abdominal hernia surgery. They both got jobs because it was all, they, they declared it and it was all documented that it was going to be no issue for their fitness to work and off they went because their medication and everything was fine and, you know, they declared everything. Yeah. Um, I have a lot of people ask, should I declare a, a previous work history or a compensation claim? Yes, you should. <laughs> yes, you should. Because if you're on site, what do you, what's your thoughts on that, Andrew? Uh, my, I have a differing opinion on that. My, my opinion on that is that um, that's there. And this is the exact words from a man, from a senior manager one day. That's there to yeah. trap honest people because they can't check that. Nobody can break yeah. into a previous uh, compensation claim. Um, so I've had a very senior manager tell me from, yeah, directly that that question's there is just to trap the honest people um, to see whether they've done it. And often that if you do put down that you've had compensation before, often you won't get a job. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's out the door. Um, there's no way that they can check it you know, sort of thing. And, you know, even if you hurt yourself on site, there's no way of anybody to go back and check it because it's all sealed medical yeah. histories. So, you know, it is what it is from that respect. I don't, you know, um, I always tell people, you know, they're treating you like cattle by getting you to go and do a medical. Sometimes you've got to act like cattle when you go and do these medicals, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, move in all the right places and you know lift your leg and do all that sort of stuff but yeah forwarding you know giving a lot of information about yourself sometimes isn't a good idea in some of these medicals and that's a big one yeah. if you if you if you tell them that you've you know you've done a big compensation claim often that's red flags for a lot of companies not all the companies but you know um, yeah, I, you could pick, you could have picked me up off the floor when that guy told me that. Um, and it wasn't just the, it, yeah, it wasn't just one guy above me, you know, it was like four guys above me, you know, sort of thing. Yeah. He was, he was senior regional and it was like, holy shit. Okay. No worries. Okay. Thank you. For the, thank you for the information. Well, I have had a few candidates actually that have struggled and they've had major kind of work injuries. One was a back surgery. Um, he was a rigger and a crane op. Yep. And then the other one, an operator, and, yeah, they tried and tried and tried being honest, and then they didn't declare any of their previous, you know, compo claims, and boom, they got a job straight away. So it definitely does make a difference. Yep. 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 But it's up to you individual to decide how you'd like to proceed. If you don't feel comfortable with that, well, then obviously don't do that. But, yeah, you if you think it's not going to affect your, you know, your fitness for work and it's, you know, it's you, you're going to pass that medical anyway, well, then I guess that's your call. 
Yeah, it, it is what it is. Um, you know, it depends. You know, like I said, if the company's um, tur turfing people because you had a back injury five years ago that's all so sorted out, you know, maybe you don't want to be working for that company, you know, sort of thing. And they're not doing themselves any 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 favours either. So, you know, it, it's all a big game and it's all about, you know, learning how to play the game. But like I said, you know, they're, they're treating you like cattle, making you do the, the bloody medicals. And if anybody's been looking for jobs that's been in the industry for any length of time, like if you go for a shift boss, if I last shift boss jobs that I, last time I looked for a shift boss job, I got off of four jobs. So I had to do four medicals. And by the end of it, I was, you know, like, Moo. You know, I, I had enough. You know, like, It was like, I don't want to talk about this anymore. You know, like, everything's fine. It's all good. Yeah. You know, rah, rah, rah. And it just is what it is after a while. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So um, I hope that answers your question about failing medicals. And if you could share this information around and like and subscribe the channel. Thanks. Thank you.